All right, so here we are for another episode of RC Hot Tip, and today we're gonna to be talking about wireless LEDs. Now, I know you're probably staring at your screens thinking, what on earth is he on about? Well, I'm gonna be showing you very quickly what I mean by wireless LEDs. Uh, basically, quite a, a number of years ago now, probably about three or four years ago, I actually did a uh, stampede build. I actually turned a stampede into a grave digger, and it's a full custom build, and to finish it off, I put some LED lights on that, on that truck. Now, one of the things that I've never liked about LED lights is that the, the body is always tethered to the actual truck itself by the wiring. So it makes it a little bit tricky depending on how, on how long your wiring is and moving the body over to the side whenever you want to change batteries. So that's one of the issues that I wanted to overcome. As it so happens, recently I was looking for magnetic body posts because I want to change out the body on this car at some stage or maybe I want to add a, a body to one of my other cars and I don't want to have the plastic body post sticking out of the body because I want to keep that nice scale look. And I know that magnetic body posts exist because a lot of people put a lot of emphasis and hard work into getting a really nice scale look drift car. And it also applies to some of the trail trucks out there as well. So uh, as I was looking for these magnetic body posts, I came across a website that had these conductive magnetic body posts where when you put the body on, the lights came on, the LED lights came on. I thought, that's a really good idea. How do I make that work? So I started looking at which uh, how I could make it work for myself without using those magnets uh, so that I could apply that to existing bodies like this uh, where the body posts are already sticking out. What I came up with is a very simple way of uh, just getting some washers, just like these ones here. These cost about 10 cents from your local hardware store, at least that's how, what they cost me. So you spend about a dollar or two dollars or something like that, and you come home with a bunch of them. You don't you know, spend as many as you, buy as many as you want, I suppose, but I bought a handful of them, and I decided to start doing some experimenting. So the way that I've got mine set up, as you can see here, I'll take the uh, body off and you see the lights come off and you can see there are no wires connecting the body. So I'll put this back on and the lights come on again. You can see the lights coming on, okay? So the way that I've done this, I'll take this off again, is underneath the body, you can see all my wiring and everything here. And of course the body does come already with uh, light buckets. Uh, over here, I've actually got my two washers that are connected to both the black and the red wires. So the wires that you'd normally have connected from the module or from your LED lights to your receiver or to wherever it is that you're connecting it to, you cut that wire and then you connect one end of the wire to the washers here and you connect, connect the other wiring that comes through and connects to two of the other washers that are here. So when the body goes on, that circuit gets closed and voila, you get your lights. That's how I've done it. Now, a couple of little tricks for young players out there to make sure that you know you have a constant contact between the two washers. Make sure you use some double-sided uh, tape underneath these washers because they create a little bit of a kind of a pressure pressure point. Especially if you have things like with this one where I have like these uh, I don't know what you call them like uh, vents kind of uh, indented on the body. You want to make sure that. Um, you know, you have a little bit of a cushioning here. So some double-sided tape. Don't just go using hot glue or whatever to stick these on. Make sure you've got some nice thick double-sided tape. And then I'll do the, I did the same thing on this one as well for the body posts. And uh, that way when I put my body on and I put my body pins on, you gotta make sure that you sort of dry test this before sticking anything on because you wanna make sure that the body's obviously at the right height. Uh, when I put my body pins on, if I can do this quickly here, they actually create a little bit of pressure. It's a nice snug fit, not super tight, uh, but it's a nice snug fit, and it's always keeping that pressure with the lights. Now, I've already tested this. I went down to Western Hobbies and did some drifting with my lights, and at no point did they switch off. There was, you know, even when I crashed into a wall or whatever, uh, these guys didn't, didn't uh, turn off. They were constantly on, and they work brilliantly. This actually works really, really well as long as you've got your spacing and everything sort of set out uh, and you make sure that the body pins actually create a little bit of pressure here just to make sure that those washers are constantly making contact and that way you know your LEDs don't come on and off all the time. 
So that's uh, pretty much it for this uh, episode of RC Hot Tip. This is what I mean by wireless LEDs, uh, because, well, you don't have a wire going from the lights to the car anymore. I can change batteries without having to worry about, you know, a wire getting in the way, and it's less likely to actually get caught up in the belts and any moving parts that are in there uh, of the car. Uh, in case you're wondering how I've routed my wires all the way to the, uh, the posts here, the way I've done this, I'll quickly show you, uh, the wire kind of comes from here, a few zip ties, making sure it's away from all the moving parts, all along there, and you can see, goes through here, and then I split up the red one on this side, black one on that side, and of course when you mount it up on your body, make sure that you've got the red and the white facing, uh, sorry, the red and the black in the right spot, you don't want to have them the other way around, because that can obviously create some problems. Um, so I have, you know, red on this side, black on this side. So it matches the, the ones that I've got there. And that's really all there is to it. And that's it for this episode of RC Hot Tip. Please don't forget to hit the like button before you go. If you're new here, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And as always, check out the video description for more information on the car, as well as a link to my Facebook page. I thank you all very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time.